everyone. My name is Nikhila Sharma. I'm the director of Go Clean Solutions Private Limited. I follow Ricky Chadda as an astro healer on YouTube. Thank you. Hello friends. Mars, the planet Mars, which represents anger, aggressiveness, weapon, a soldier. It's a planet of action. It's leaving the sign of Virgo and entering into a movable sign, Libra, on the 22nd of October at around uh, maybe uh, early morning at 2.26, roundabout. <clears throat> and at, it shall remain there in the sign of Libra till the 5th of December. We need to understand that Libra is a sign which is ruled by Venus. It's a, it's a sign of, uh, you know, balance, romance. It's a natural house of marriages. Venus represents beauty, artistic ability. It represents film industry. It industry. It, uh, it represents all the industry that is into, that I call in one word, is showmanship. Anything, jewelry, pubs, restaurant, hotels, whatever. When you look at something which is very beautiful and that attracts you is Venus. And Venus is the sign which is, uh, Libra is a sign which is ruled by Venus. Now understand this soldier this person in action is getting into the sign of marriage, seventh house, and it is into the house of Venus. What is going to be the impact on various as ascendants as well as the moon sign? Let us understand that. Fine. So this is Dikki Chadda here from Astro Healer giving you the, you know, the impact and the effect of this particular transit into the various sign right from Aries to the sign of Pisces. Stay tuned. <clears throat> the Lagna Aries. <clears throat> now for Aries, Mangal rules your first house, eighth house and it is positioned now into your seventh house. From seventh house it is going to aspect the tenth house the first house and the second house. Let us also understand uh, that Mars being a malefic planet, whichever house it will look, it will give you material gain but it will definitely you know affect the co uh, corporal uh, like you know uh, things that is represented by a house. For example, if it is looking at your 11th house, it is a house of gain, it will definitely give you gain. But you may have a conflict or a argument with your elder sibling. So material malefic will give you a gain, but in relationship, it will definitely cause some problem. So for Aries, I would say it's a good transit and you would be, uh, you know, uh, especially for enhancing your personality because it is the first house and the eighth house, eighth house also is a transformation. Your personality would be very magnetic and your reputation in the society also will increase during this period. It is also a good transit if you look at your career and profession as well because it is aspecting the 10th house as well. If you're looking for promotion, some uh, increment or uh, something of that sort, then you can definitely ex expect this. Any role that you play as a leader, okay, or if any uh, role of leadership is assigned to you, you will definitely do very well during this period. However, I would uh, want you to 
show that affection and respect to your father or a person that you take as a fatherly figure do not get into any argument with them and same would apply even to your bosses and your senior people as well yes your expenditure may uh, will be mostly uh, in buying some luxurious uh, items uh, for your family or maybe for yourself as well so this is all for aries a good period uh, you must take advantage of this the next sign is a sign of taurus now for taurus we have to understand the ruler of your 7th and the 12th uh, uh, lord lordship is in the 6th house 6th house is all about disease loans enemies uh, service all those uh, things and it is aspecting the 9th house 12th house and your first house here i see that the this is this makes you uh, a very competitive person you will have that competitive spirit in you now you will come out perfect as a warrior into any situation and you may start developing love for your country you know so if it, if you are in defense or something like that this is a very good period for you you will be more active now and you will you will be an initiator you will take initiatives now if you were lying very low you will get the courage now however this period may may create some differences with your mentors your teachers your gurus and even father or fatherly figure as well so i would request you not to get into any argument uh, with them and maintain peace and harmony uh, at home as well expenditure yes will uh, increase and if you have any court cases or any litigations in the court uh then uh you know you uh, this is a good period maybe you will come out victorious also in this but even if you don't have a court case there could be a court a court case just for uh, no reason you have to control your impulsiveness also don't be too hasty and have a very balanced way of looking at things your thoughts your ideas should be very balanced don't be very impulsive this was all for the sign of taurus the next sign is uh, gemini for gemini we have to understand the ruler the, the lordship of your 6th and the 11th house is into the 5th house now we know that the 5th house is all about love romance children creativity share market all those things sitting here it is also looking at your 8th house mars is looking uh, aspecting the 8th house 11th house and the 12th house so it looks a little challenging period uh, and may create some obstacle because if 8th house is also uh, coming into play so if you are looking for promotion or something an increment maybe it could be be a little uh, you may not get a very satisfactory outcome and if your promotion is due may get a little de uh, delayed uh, but not denied income will also get impacted in this period so i would say but overall i would say that the flow of income will be there but not as per your expectation mostly i see that uh, the earned income whatever you are earning you may invest it or you may invest into some uh, maybe education of your child or uh, maybe you want to educate yourself you want to do some course you want to enhance your uh, you know uh, your eligibility or your uh, personality it's possible also uh, you may spend some money on some gifts or gifting uh, luxurious items to your partner love uh, either you are in, in love or maybe your wife but at the same time you need to reduce heated arguments with your loved ones this is also that you have to take care of do not be very dominating and doubting you know to your towards your partner 
that is going to take some <clears throat> you know we will put you into some conflict so i want you to <clears throat> give some space to your uh, your uh, life partner as well as your uh, uh, you know your love <clears throat> otherwise the other person you know your 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 partner may get very suffocated and that that will uh, lead to some problem the next sign is <clears throat> the sign of cancer now for cancer people i would say the ruler of your fifth house and the tenth house is into your fourth house fourth house is of or of landed property property domestic happiness family mother <clears throat> vehicle and from fourth house it is looking at your seventh house tenth house and your eleventh house now what i see for uh, for cancer people that it is an auspicious and extremely good transit for promotion and even your your status also will increase your income also will increase because the 10th and the 11th houses are affected by mars <clears throat> however i would say it doesn't look very good for your married life maybe some heated arguments or some fights some conflicts with your uh, uh, life partner or even the health of your life partner may uh, cause a little concern to you yes it is a very good transit for making any kind of investment if you want to uh, and especially re related to property any strategy uh, can be implemented in this period if you want to and it will provide you good gains <clears throat> the next sign uh, is the sign of leo now leo the lord of your fourth and the ninth house is into the third house the third house of communication mass media sibling your neighborhood your friends and it is aspecting your 6th uh, house it is aspecting your 9th house and the 10th house now this particular uh, transit seems for leo people is a period uh, that looks uh, you know that you will have lot of determination you will be very focused you will be very courageous the low confidence that was uh, you were just facing uh, recently will now reduce and now you have got all the power and the confidence in you and you are very active now if there is any long pending uh, matters in the court or there was any conflict <clears throat> that will get resolved and whatever the result would be would be in your favor this uh, this uh, transition also shows me that you know it's good for your fortune and your luck also will uh, be good at this time and good outcome would come out of uh, during this period maybe the relation with your father may get into some like you know uh, a difference of opinion some arguments so i want you to have a very composed approach towards this yes your career and your profession is on the rise during this transit people will definitely definitely appreciate you uh, for your uh, leadership quality your administrative skills and however again arguments is something that you have to stay a little uh, away from even with your bosses next sign is a sign of virgo the ruler of your third house and the eighth house is in the 12th house now sorry in the second house i'm sorry it is from the second house it is aspecting your fifth house eighth house and the ninth house this is not a very good transit especially for your wealth and family your saving will definitely get decreased uh, maybe some unnecessarily uh, increase in your expenditure so you need to prepare a budget and invest your money if you want to Uh, according to like you know maybe some uh, uh, take some good advice from the people who are like you know wherever wherever you are investing whether is this the right time is this the right uh, move for you but on the flip side it also indicates that there might be some kind of uh, inheritance coming to you so that is a good thing and suddenly this inheritance uh, or money uh, 
will come to you but i would request you not to reinvest this whatever is coming to you otherwise you will have some losses so if it is coming to you keep it do not reinvest into anything otherwise you will have a, a problem and you may if you are married and you are having kids so you may have uh, there's a chances that you there would be problems between you and your kids so you should try to understand them remain calm composed and do not dominate or dominant over, over the kids otherwise maybe that may lead to some uh, conflict you need to respect your guru your father or fatherly figure the people uh, who are like you know your seniors uh, pay respect to them <clears throat> the next sign is the sign of libra the ruler of the second and the seventh is into the first house now from the first house it is aspecting the fourth the seventh and the eighth house so this is yes a, a good transit and that will make you a uh, a uh, uh, or give you a fighting spirit you would be like a warrior uh, and you will face any situation uh, with you know very competitive spirit i would say you would also come uh, out very courageous and adventurous uh, person and your personality would be uh, like you know <clears throat> will have an impact on people so i would say your whatever you initiate you will accomplish also your finances your finances i would say uh, will increase only if you put your efforts into it which means if you save money then definitely your saving will rise yes it is not very good period on a personal front <clears throat> because i see that you know in your personal life there may be some conflicts at home with family so i would want you to have some uh, you have to adapt to the situation right now be composed and don't be too impulsive marital life uh you will have lovely time with your married uh, uh, partner okay. with your life partner you will definitely have a good time the only thing is in family you have to just be a little calm and composed that's the requirement right now next sign is the sign of scorpio <clears throat> now see the ruler of your uh, lagna itself uh, and the sixth house the first house and the sixth house shall be in the 12th house from the 12th house it is looking at your third house sixth house and the seventh house Yes it looks a challenging period for this uh, for for the scorpions during this period you may feel a little isolated from the world and you may have an inclination towards foreign land or foreign products on the flip side it also indicates some gains that you may receive from foreign sources as well so if you are working for a company which is an uh, multinational company maybe uh, it's a good time for you but your expenditure would be fairly high so you may have some financial crisis also because you uh, because you have spent money without thinking and then you will all of a sudden have a money crunch so but again then with your courage and determination you will always try or uh, try very hard and your efforts will definitely make you reach your goal you will accomplish your goals in this period you need to take care of your health in this period especially the lower part of your body the lower part of your body you have to be very careful you need to also control your temperament temperament also and not to be too impulsive i have told you this earlier as well because that may create some problem with your in your married life next sign is a sign of sagittarius sagittarius the ruler of your 12th house and the 5th house is in the 11th house 11th house of income gains 
and from 11th house it is looking at the 2nd house, the 5th house and the 6th house. Yes, Sagittarius, as it is I have been telling you, things are getting better and better and better for you. So this is a good transit uh, and that will provide you with good income and good gain too. Maybe promotion, maybe some recognition for you uh, is on the card. Long distance travel also may, may give you gains. Fortune and luck is now in your favor. Whatever you want to do, you can do in life. Uh, more, I see if you have got any connection with a foreign land, then this is really a good period for you. However, you must take care of unnecessary, uh, unnecessarily spending money because uh, it's the 12th house also coming into play. So expenses would be on a high, uh, uh, on the rise. So save your money. If you want to attend a higher education in a foreign land, so I'm talking to a, uh, to, to a student now, then if you want to take admission into a foreign university, this is a real good period for you. You have to use your competitive ability, which is there in you, and you will do very well, really very well if you are into any competitive exams or any sports or something. The next sign is the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, uh, please understand the ruler of your 4th house and your 11th house is into the 10th house. It is from the 10th house looking at the 1st house, 4th house and the 5th house. During this transit, your personality will definitely get very enhanced, but the only problem is anger issues may trouble you. Too much of aggressiveness also will uh, make you very impulsive. So first of all, you want to, uh, you need to control your hastiness and the anger in order to maintain a consistency in your life. Be patient for some time. This period also looks very good for uh, any matter relating to property. If you are uh, into construction, real estate, research, writing or publication, you will definitely have a very good period. But do not be very dominating and very possessive in the matter of love. And uh, because that might create a little, you know, uh, fights and the charm will get destroyed in your life. Next sign is a sign of Aquarius. Aquarius people, the ruler of your third house and your tenth house is into the ninth house, the ninth house of luck, fortune. From ninth house, Mars is going to look at the twelfth house of foreign land, third house, communication, mass media and the fourth house of domestic happiness. So this transit looks pretty good for your spiritual progress, very philosophical approach and a divine connection for you. Oh, this is a real good period for you. If you are involved into the field of research, administrative, it's a very good uh, time for you. Maybe there's a long, uh, long uh, distant travel waiting for you and especially related to business or career might be on the card. You may even have, a, have an opportunity to have a foreign uh, visit for a vacation as well. During this period, I want you to pay respect to your father, your gurus, your mentors and avoid any argument with them. Your confidence if it was recently very low, then your confidence is getting a boost. And any partnership with, with anyone also will come up and will give you good gains. So overall, I see that this is a good period. Your finances are increasing, but your expenditures also are increasing. The next sign, which is the last sign in the zodiac belt, is a sign of Pisces. Mars being the ruler of the second house and the ninth house is into the eighth house. See from the eighth house it is looking at the eleventh house, second house and the third house. So this period looks bit challenging for you and will provide you sudden rise and fall into specific areas. So you may have sudden rise 
and then fall and again rise and fall you need to be aware in terms of finances as i see that there could be sudden loss of wealth and you must also have control over your speech because words spoken by you may create some uh, loss of uh, relationship loss of friendship or even loss of opportunities for you so you are you have to control your tongue yes on the contrary i would say uh, from the flip side you will definitely get involved into the field of research uh, textile technical creativity if you are into import and export business good uh, time for you good gains for you in fact if you are into writing you have the skill for writing then this is a good uh, period for you if you want if you have written a book this is a good time for publication as well so media communication all these things are going to be good uh, with this transit of mars any sudden gain or receiving of any inheritance uh, for you is likely to be at this period so maybe all of a sudden this is a lottery luck for you so good period for you so friends this was all about all the uh, lagnas right from aries to the uh, sign of uh, pisces if you have liked this video give it a like click on the notification bell icon as well share this video with your friends colleagues and relatives also subscribe to my channel if you haven't still and requesting you to join my membership to give me a little support your support is much needed thank you so much